Welcome back to the job site. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can kerf MDF on the table saw. All kerfing is, is when you're making multiple passes in the same board and you're going to make those passes so that that board has the flexibility that it needs to get it around whatever you need it to get around. There's a few ways you can do this. One of the ways you can do it is with the table saw. I like using the table saw with a miter gauge because it's really efficient and it's really safe. Here's the uh, one by six that we're gonna be using. It's truly three quarter inches by five and a half inches. All you have to do to set the depth of the blade to make these kerf cuts is to find the middle of whatever material you're using. Now you could go beyond the middle if you really wanna make it bend, but if you just need a slight flex, you can just go with the middle of the material, that distance. Since this is three quarters, all you're gonna do is you just take a, one of these marking tools and then you'll set it to 3 8 in this case. And then you can see how that's right in the middle of that material. And you wanna check this before you set the depth of the blade. Now all you gotta do with this tool is just take that, once you've made sure it was the middle of your material, set it on your table saw and then raise your table saw blade up to that point and then you're good to go. So I'll do that now. Every time I make a cut, I'm gonna re release the fence and move it. I have a gauge right here. I'm just gonna move it a half inch. Lock it down, make the next pass, release the fence, move it a half inch. Lock it down, make the pass, release the fence, move it a half inch. And that's how you're gonna be able to curve a board on a table saw. If you're gonna do it this way, you must have a miter gauge. That's this tool right here that slides through because if you're trying to hold that piece through a small area like this on between the blade and the fence, you can get a pinch in there and it'll kick back and it's very dangerous. So if you're gonna do it, you need this to support that board right there. Since I'm gonna be making so many passes doing this curving process and using this miter gauge, it's real important that the sliding channel of this table saw where the miter gauge slides into that guide is really lubricated. So to lubricate that up, I'm gonna use that three-in-one oil and just put it in there. I like using the three-in-one multi-purpose oil that they offer. It's perfect for lubricating the table saw because it stays lubricated even in such a dusty environment. And I'll just work that in there. It's good to go now. So now that I got this sliding nice and smooth, I'm ready to get on curfing this board. This is what the kerf board ends up looking like. This board was kerfed every half inch, half the depth of the material. MDF is already a little bit flexible, so that's why I like to kerf with it. But you can see, even on this small board, you can imagine a bigger one, but a small board, the bend that I can put in it, just to get it around a radius wall. I have another board, the same exact measurement as that one that hasn't been kerfed. And I'll try to do that bend with the board that hasn't been curved. <laughs> there's just no way. But there's just no, there's no bend to that. So that's the big difference right there. That's what curfing does. You can bend your millwork around that architectural drywall that has the curves in it. All right, so there you have it. That's how easy you can curve a board on the table saw. You saw the way I did it. If you just do it that same exact way, just using that miter gauge, and make sure to definitely wear dust protection because as we showed you, this dust gets ridiculous when you're making that many curves in a single board. I wanna say a big thanks to 3-in-1 Oil for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate them taking the time to reach out to me and sponsor this video. 
So until next time, that's going to do it for this one. We'll see y'all next time. Take care.